So I finally got the first 8 pairs from the Teddy 16, and I thought it would be fun to make a video on my ranking from least favorite to favorite of the first 8 Teddy 16 pairs. Starting at number 8, my least favorite pair from the first 8 of the Teddy 16 is the Black and True Camo 990V2. This is by no means a bad shoe in any way. It's a very simple and clean shoe. It's very versatile. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that for the Teddy 16, I thought it was a little disappointing in terms of uh, the suede is just the regular suede. There's no hairy suede used. Uh, it also looks very uh, similar to the Core Black 990V2. Um, I even had some people ask me if my Core Black 990V2 was from the upcoming Teddy 16 pack because of how similar they looked and that's probably one of the biggest insults you can give to one of the Teddy pairs is that if they look like a core classic colorway and yeah overall uh, it's a, it was a pretty underwhelming colorway in my opinion from the Teddy 16 and that's why it's my least favorite. Coming in at number 7 is the 990v1 in the macadamia nut colorway. Again it's definitely not a bad colorway by any means. I do love the hairy suede. I love the panels of leather and I love how this shoe also comes with black laces instead of just two shades of white laces but uh, in my opinion I feel like this colorway was already good on the 990v3 and the v1 uh, I kind of wish the v1 got more than two colorways because the two colorways it got were pretty simple it looks a little too simple on the already simple 990v1 silhouette if that makes any sense I mean the v3 with this colorway uh, the v3 is chunkier it's a little bit more complex with the simpler color Colorway. I feel like that goes together better than a simple shoe with a simple colorway. It's just a little too plain for me, despite the awesome hairy suede. Coming in at number 6, we have the 990v3 in the Incense and Marblehead colorway. The Incense and Marblehead colorway uh, was probably my favorite colorway from the first 8 of the Teddy 16, but I feel like it wasn't that well executed on the 990v3 as it was on the v2 and v1 which I'll get into later. Obviously I love the hairy gray suede all around the shoe. I think that's the best part of this shoe. I love how the olive green mesh uh, contrasts with the panels of light brown and the hairy gray suede. Uh, it's a pretty solid shoe. Uh, I just prefer it on the v2 and v1's execution. Coming in at number 5 is the 990v3 in the sea salt and rain cloud color. Colorway. Uh, I know a lot of people love this colorway, especially on the 990v3. The 990v3 is probably the most popular out of the three silhouettes from the Teddy 16. And this very clean white sea salt colorway is definitely great on a solid silhouette in the v3. Um, it's very versatile. It definitely has that classic dad shoe vibes, a chunky dad shoe in white leather. Uh, speaking of the white leather, the white leather utilized on this shoe and the v2 is excellent. I think New Balance and Teddy did an excellent choice choosing this full grain leather on these shoes. It also didn't have any break-in period, which I was really happy, and so my toes didn't have any problems fitting into the shoe. And it's a pretty solid and versatile colorway for all seasons of the year. Coming in at number 4 is the 990v1 in the Marblehead and Incense colorway. Uh, you guys know I love the v1, and I feel like it could use more love from New Balance overall. So I was really happy to see that the v1 would also be getting the Marblehead and Incense colorway in the Teddy 16. I love the hairy suede, uh, the green mesh is awesome, and I especially love the uh, the added small details on this pair specifically. I love how the N logo is in this really nice white leather, and the back tab of the shoe is also in a very smooth and nice light brown suede with the New Balance logo debossed in it. And I also love how the ankle lining of the shoe is in a nice leather as well. I feel like this shoe was already solid without those touches but those little small low touches just make the shoe that much better. Starting us off at the top three, we have the 990v3 in the Moonbeam and Macadamia Nut colorway. This is by far my favorite v3 from the first half of the Teddy 16 in my opinion. Uh, I love the colorway overall. I love the Moonbeam base and I love how there's just flat suede and hairy suede. I love that contrasting details and I especially like 
the hits of charcoal gray around the shoe, whether it be the panels in the front, the tongue, and even part of the midsole foam. I think it's a well put together colorway, and it's definitely my favorite V3 from the first half of the 16. Coming in at number two is the 990 V2 in the sea salt and rain cloud colorway. I did not expect to love this colorway so much. When I first saw this and the V3 in this uh, all white colorway, I thought it was going to be my least favorites, but little did I know I would be wearing this pair a lot. It, I mean, it's so versatile and I love how soft it is on your feet, around your feet with the soft panels of leather. Uh, as I said with the V3, I think Teddy and New Balance did an excellent job with uh, choosing the leather for this. It's full grain leather, really soft, had no break in period whatsoever. Ever. It's a very versatile colorway, especially for the summer, but I can definitely see myself wearing this during the fall and winter seasons too. Uh, you guys know I love the V2. It's my personal favorite uh, looking silhouette from the 990 line and I think it looks great in this very simple yet versatile colorway. And my favorite pair from the first half of the Teddy 16 is the 990 V2 in the Marblehead and Incense colorway. Pairs of this shoe managed to release earlier than anticipated than the official release of the Teddy 16 and this was the shoe that made me fall in love with the collection. Obviously it was a mistake for this pair to release earlier than anticipated but I think this was the best pair to accidentally release early because I think it really encapsulates most of the Teddy 16 with the legacy colorway but elevated with small touches like the hairy suede in the middle and the contrasting uh, subtle tones like the green mesh and the light brown back and uh, the different materials utilized as a whole like most of the tongue is made out of suede which is awesome this is definitely one of my favorite neutral tone colorways that I own. I think uh, the colorway just works so well together. Uh, usually I'm a more louder shoe kind of guy, but I feel like all the small details and the contrasting colors utilized on my favorite silhouette in the 990 V2 just works so well together and that's why it is my favorite pair from the first half of the Teddy 16. So the first half of the Teddy 16 has been released and that's how I personally rank the first eight shoes. Uh, what do you guys think of my ranking and what were your guys's favorite and least favorite colorways from the first half let me know down in the comments so that's gonna do it for this video like and subscribe if you enjoyed follow me on my socials thank you to all my patreon backers check out the intelligence site for more new balance content and guides and i'll catch you guys in the next one